Catch Amazing Minds, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 15 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Come rain, come sunshine, switch my heart and do you will Sunshine, switch my heart and do you, you will find it's love for you. All I got is love for you. Pour me a drink. Having lunch at church this past weekend, and everybody brought rice. Can you imagine? Now, who's going to serve the pastor? Oh, <laughs> you have jokes. If you don't get it, then I don't know. He who laughs last thinks the slowest you're welcome to the show if you're not subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell and share amazing minds is available on youtube every monday wednesday and friday the podcast is available on google apple and spotify for podcasters mondays wednesdays and fridays 15 hour central african time um monday shows are for political commentary like today wednesdays are for rebuttals we're doing a rebuttal this Wednesday, which is the day after tomorrow, with Sui Lange, as usual, we are discussing Chuck Norris and how he is not God. Look at that. Uh, Friday is for Bible Talks. We'll be doing Bible Talks on Friday this week. I hope you have been following the series of Bible Talks we just did just this past week. Just this past Friday, we did Bible Talks on what happens to people when they die. And we had so much debate on so consciousness and whatnot with um, my Adventist brethren and the witnesses. You don't say. Yeah. So we have a number of things going on in the news uh, from last week, spilling over into the weekend. Yeah. Um, a number of things. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell and share. All right. So firstly, you will begin by uh talking talking about the first lady former first lady that is former first lady under the patriotic front government that's uh madam esther madam esther lungu she was arrested uh oh looks good in that picture doesn't she <laughs> yeah looks good in that picture she was arrested this past week uh on Charges related to the 400,000 USD. Do you guys remember the 400,000 USD that she gave to her niece uh, to keep for her? And the money later went missing. Anyway, let's get into it. Former First Lady Esther Lungu has been arrested and charged with three counts of theft of motor vehicle. Mrs. Lungu has been arrested along with four others, namely James Perry, aged 49, Lichi Sulo, aged 31, Kapambwe Lungu, aged 42, and Catherine Banda, aged 30. Mrs. Lungu, along with the four other suspects, have also been charged, or rather has also been charged with theft of title of property. Deputy Police Spokesperson Danny Mwale said all suspects have been detained in police custody, and police have jointly formally charged and arrested former First Lady Esther Lungu, aged 66, James Peary, aged 44, Lee Chisulo, aged 31, Kapambwe Lungu, aged 42, and Catherine Banda, aged 30, all of Lusaka for three counts of theft of motor vehicle, contrary to Section 281A, uh, 2 of Chapter 82 of the Laws of Zambia. The suspects have also been charged and arrested with one count of theft of a certificate of title for a property sitting on stand number S Lusaka SLN 0003-2977 in Liwala South. He said, all right, so uh, they have been arrested in connection with a property that was. So here's the story from their side, at least. Um, anyway, before I tell you the story, let's hear it from Emmanuel Mwamba as he gives us uh, an update on the first lady's, former first lady's arrest. Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here at Ibex police station. Just um, an update, um, the former first lady, um, Madam Esther Lungu, uh, has been formally arrested 
uh, I think on four counts, the police are alleging that uh, there were three motor vehicles that were stolen, a certificate of title for a property in Liwala, and uh, for the former first lady, they've um, also given a separate charge relating to proceeds of crime relating to the $400,000. Um, yeah, so you heard it. You heard it right. She has been arrested in connection with uh, theft of property as well as uh, charges in connection with the 400,000 USD that was given into the hands of her niece to keep uh, as opposed to Zanako. Yeah, now the first lady's uh, side of the story is that after she uh, gave this money to her niece, um, her niece, along with a few others, squandered the money. She felt rich. And so they bought some motor vehicles and some properties, which after the first lady reported uh, to the police saying, I gave this lady money and it's now missing, um, they were forced to surrender the properties that they bought from the said money. But then they later went back to report her to the police uh, in connection with the property that they surrendered saying, these are stolen properties. These vehicles are stolen and whatnot. I hope you're following the story anyway. Uh, so this is why she was arrested. That's according to her. Uh, and so she claims innocence and she stands on her word and her supporters do as well. And the president was there at the police, former president, former president, the former president, Mr. Edgar Lungu, was there at the police as well, trying their best uh, to get her out. And this was her right after her release. For the spirit of love, oneness, resilience, commitment, support, and everything that you have shown to me, my husband, my children, the entire family, and indeed Zambia as a whole. I know that many people out there have been praying and the people have been praying and praying for years from the time we left office. And Father God is listening. Your prayers are not in vain. May we continue living united, loving one another, so that peace may prevail forever and ever. May we not do this just for once, but may we live to support one another. Thank you to the PF, thank you to the members of our parliament who have come to rescue me. From my several crimes. Anyway, that's a joke. Oh, did you see Nkanduluo standing right next to her? I always wonder, does she have some comedy in her? She's the sister to uh, one of my favorite Zambian comedians, Shimumbi. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah. But I always wonder, does she have some comedy in her? Like, is she just going to pull up a joke? Yeah. So this was the first lady thanking everyone for rescuing her from the supposed crimes she committed. Uh, supposed. So this is what happened with her. She was later released and the president also, the former president also gave his statement concerning the same and how they are being attacked and persecuted left, right, center. And now here's the thing, you know, <laughs> when you are in a position of power, authority, privilege, money, influence, whatever it is, there is this illusion that money can create. And I was having this chat with my brother uh, a couple of weeks ago about how money can create an illusion. And we've seen it. We've seen many people rise up and fall. Because in that moment, take for example, if you have a 5,000 kwacha today, that money can make you really feel like you're finally, oh my goodness, tongue twister, like you're financially okay, right? That's for some people. For some people, 5,000 kwacha wouldn't mean anything. But for some people, when they have a 5,000 kwacha, they feel like that money won't end. They'll be swiping left, right and center. Now imagine if you had a 400,000 US dollars, like Wuhan Pamela Gondwe, that money can create an illusion. You see a position of power, a position of influence, a position of ability creates an illusion. It makes you believe that this will never end and it is self-sustaining. But the truth is money is never self-sustaining. 
it needs money lives and stays by principles it it stays by certain principles and grows by certain principles if you don't follow these principles the money will come and go that's why we have one hit wonders in the realm of the rich yeah so um the problem is that when you're in that position of power you neither see consequence nor change in state and this illusion this lie that uh, power gives has caused many to fall and later cry wolf and say we are being persecuted we are being attacked the lord is watching the lord is on our side no the lord was watching when you were untouchable he was the lord was watching when you were untouchable when no one could say anything or do anything as a matter of fact if they said anything not that they couldn't they could they just want to escape the consequences of saying it we know a lot of young ladies and uh, gentlemen who are put in the cells for saying uttering words uh against the first or former first family you see how interesting it is that <laughs> every president will one day be called former anyway another news <laughs> parliament was opened last week and the president had a few things to address let's look into it president hakainde hichilema has addressed the third session of 13th national assembly through a message whose message was centered on unity of purpose economic development addressing the high cost of living plus the fight against poverty and corruption with the current prevailing pr high cost of living mr hichilema had to touch on this issue and was quick to acknowledge the status quo with an assurance that his administration is an is addressing the matter the president who is an economist said the government is aware about the high prices of millimeal and petroleum products but various interventions are being put in place to address the situation we're doing everything possible to stabilize the price of our staple commodity food called millimeal mr hichlem said all right so it is true it is true uh, <laughs> cost of living is not what it used to be things have gotten much 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 worse okay everything has tripled in price almost uh yeah and it's a good thing if the leader of the country is actually addressing it and talking about it without fear he's not shying away from it he's admitting and saying actually we have a plan i do hope i honestly do hope they have a plan because we want to buy things at an affordable rate i honestly do hope they have a plan but speaking of millimeter prices one citizen took the liberty of addressing the nation <laughs> check it out unga wa nyongola unga wa dula vichani unga ofunika wa dula muli mavimasoya binzi isadi muli memilisi muka kwati government ina munda government ipe munda ufunika wa menemo malima mu mazambia nimu sati muli bize mwaka mbonga wa dula wa lui wa dula wa dula muli mavimasoya binzi veka veka so muli memilisi government ipe munda yenka ni ufuniko ziba imu kutumpa uku ufuna muzibu ziplema muntu ati no vintu wa dulisa muna lima vima soya binzi masuzo lima vima soya binzi fiti muplema government government nji mwili mani milisi mwa makawa ya tikutumpo wow yeah he took the liberty of shouting at the nation saying kutumpo he transferred the blame from the government to the people he went as far as calling the people the government and saying it is you the government doesn't have farms <laughs> I don't know what you think you leave your thoughts in the comment by the way if you're not subscribed please do subscribe hit that notification bell and share we're looking forward to seeing the channel grow and your participation uh in the channel increase as well we have a great concept here we're developing and I know you will love it uh yeah now in closing the show today um I saw a very interesting video of someone who displays a different kind of boldness You know when you're dealing with Zambian police we've heard the stories of how to slap when to slap where to slap who to slap and what not I know they start out as jokes but uh, there is an element of truth in it the Zambian police can slap Now this guy was so bold like I I won't even explain to you what he did you just need to see it Check it out Even his 
face can show it. <laughs> He's expecting a slap from the back. How dare you? Wow. I need this guy. <laughs> guys be bold in life be bold in life whatever it is you have to do go for it don't stop don't let fear stop you you see fear works just like faith it produces results whatever it is you fear i can assure you sooner or later it will be for you whatever it is you believe i can assure you sooner or later it will come to fruition so whatever it is you want to do in this life have the boldness of this gentleman Stand right in front of the police and take a video. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.